In this video, you will learn how to create gross shrink animation effect in PowerPoint 2013. I am Ram Gopal from Prezotraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers, consultants and business presenters. You might have seen gross shrink animation effect being used quite regularly in business presentations. Now I am going to show you one of the creative ways in which you can use gross shrink animation. The effect you will learn to create today looks like this. As you can see, there are four different points that I want to talk about. I want the audience to pay attention to the first point. And to do that, all I need to do is to click and that automatically pulses and brings the audience's attention to the first point. Once I'm done talking about the first point, I click again to draw the viewer's attention to the second one and then to the third one and to the fourth one. Simple, very effective. Now, if you want to see a variation of this, here is another effect. As you can see, we have four points on a click. The viewer's attention is brought to the first one, second, third, and fourth. The effect has a number of practical applications like drawing the viewer's attention to one point at a time or drawing the viewer's attention to one portion of a picture or any such thing that you want to apply this effect towards. Let me show you how to create this simple yet highly useful effect from scratch. Now here I am on a new slide. Let me go to the animations tab and keep the animation pane open so you can see that there is no animation here whatsoever. I'm going to now apply the animation to the circle here. Now the first thing you need to be aware is that I have created this text by using a separate text box. So you can see that it is a very different entity than the background circle and that is very important. If you write uh, your text right inside the circle then you may not actually get this kind of an effect. I am going to apply the effect only to the circle in the background. The effect I am going to apply is an emphasis animation called gross shrink animation and you will see that here gross shrink and see by default this is the way in which it grows and the default duration is two seconds I'm going to really make it snappy and quick so I'm going to say 0.1 second so that is the duration and I'm going to open this drop down menu right next to the animation event and click on effect options and I'm going to use this option called auto reverse. So as soon as it grows uh, to 150%, it will grow back to its original size. So that is the idea of auto reverse here. And I'm going to say, okay. And you can see already a preview of the pulse effect. Now I'm going to select this. I'm going to go to the animation painter option. I'm going to double click on it. And then I'm going to click on the second uh, circle. And I'm going to do the same on the third one and then on the fourth one. So we have four animation events. I can uh, click on the same animation painter icon once again so that I can have my cursor back to its original position. And now when I go to the slideshow mode, you can see on a click, I have the first pulsating uh, gross shrink effect happening, second, third, and fourth. Now, if you want to have this a little more interesting, then you can go to the home tab of PowerPoint ribbon, go to the oval tool under basic shapes, pick up the oval tool, and then draw a white circle. So I'm going to have this slightly smaller than the previous one. And I'm going to have that rest right in the middle. And I'm going to give it a white color. And let us remove the outline. And I'm going to select that one and the green circle. And I'm going to right click and send it to back so that the text is visible. Now. I just need to go to slideshow mode and then when I click you can see that the background circle pulses while leaving the white circle intact. Just see how the effect goes once again. On a click the background circle pulses whereas the white circle remains. So that is the effect that I had shown you earlier on how this particular one works where the viewer's attention is drawn, is drawn to the various points in a very interesting way. So that is all there is to it. A very, very simple effect. All you need to do is to go to gross shrink effect, reduce the duration to 0.1 seconds, and then go to effect options and change and choose the option called auto reverse. I hope you liked this simple yet useful effect. Having good slides to present is like wearing a good suit in the boardroom. You automatically feel more confident and sound more convincing. You know what? You don't need to be a PowerPoint ninja to create great looking slides like this. You just need to know a few simple techniques to significantly improve the look and feel of your business slides. 
In Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program, I teach you those surprisingly simple yet creative PowerPoint techniques that took me years to discover through painful trial and error method. Once you know the techniques, you will realize how easy it is to make great looking slides like this in the same time it takes to create mediocre looking slides like this. So please click on the link in the description area below this video to see how Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program can change the way you create your business slides forever. And to get a feel for how simple techniques can make a massive impact on your slides, I invite you to join our free mini training called 16 Snackable PowerPoint Techniques course. It is an easy course with 16 super short emails. Each email teaches you a simple 30 second PowerPoint technique you can implement right away to impress your bosses, colleagues and audiences. You can join the free mini training by clicking on the button here. So please do click here and I'll see you inside the mini training.